Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So in case you've noticed, we've been cut off the last few times when we were uh, doing our recordings at the very end, and it's taken seconds off of one, and it took a couple minutes off another. So uh, just trying something different, and we have some other hardware coming in to give a go. But as always, we plug ahead and we want to thank our patrons for their support. Indeed, we want to say just huge thank yous. Yeah, there's going to be a, a Patreon only video later on today or tomorrow. And it's going to be focusing in on uh, some information that's come through of a channeled nature. And we will be sharing it. It's a very, I would say, positive one. And it's exciting. So, here we go again. 26 barges break loose, heading down the Ohio River and shutting down multiple bridges, including McKee's Rocks Bridge in Pittsburgh. Halted all traffic due to this incident. This is another crazy one, is it not? I mean, it's so obvious that you have these sleepy cellular units that are just trying to cause all sorts of chaos, and then there's some things that are um, very, very, very... Um, troubling that we're going to cover in this video too going on with some of those sleepy cellular units as you see this you know think about this we, we've talked about key infrastructure hitting dams <clears throat> hitting dams hitting bridges bridges and dams and you know obviously the situation in baltimore and the other ones we've seen too and it, it just keeps going on and on and on you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking if, if, if and when, if and when they really want to, I mean, they can turn a lot of people loose and they can create so much havoc and it will kind of bring this country to, to a standstill. It, it's going to really make people think. I, I just, I don't know when they're going to hit that go button. Right now it's like, you know, uh, ir irritation after irritation after irritation. But when they give a signal... I mean, there's going to be so many coming out of the woodwork. It, it is. It's going to cause a problem. And I guess that's kind of what I'm waiting for. And that's what we prepare for, amongst other things. Yeah. Um, there's, there's so much going on. This right here is from Australia. This is from Sydney, Australia. New South Wales Police Commissioner Karen Webb has revealed some fresh details about the knife-wielding man shot dead inside a busy Sydney shopping center. After six people were confirmed dead, eight more received treatment. Um, you know, this is still kind of uh, shaking out as we speak. It was an attack by somebody with a knife that ended up stabbing 14 or 15 people, according to sources. And they're dressed in a rugby uniform. Um, it's interesting in that I saw a couple of tweets that were clearly uh, stating this person was an illegal immigrant. And other tweets saying there's no evidence this person was an illegal immigrant. It, it, it is, you know, it, it's part of what's going on in this world. It's just exactly the type of act that we would um, expect to see happen because I think what they want to do is bring terror uh, to the heart of the Western society. And, you know, it's, it's caused by the wars that have been nonstop going on over in the Middle East and in many countries, even in Africa, too, nonstop wars and all over the place. This one was particularly horrible. Uh, the man who is believed to have acted alone first entered the center about 3.10 p.m., left briefly and returned at 3.20. Police confirmed before 8 p.m. the death toll had risen from 5 to 6 after the mother of a baby, and he stabbed the baby too, uh, died in the hospital. Several other people have run, rushed to the hospital with serious injuries, including a nine-month-old baby undergone surgery. You, you just, you cannot fathom the type of darkness that's inside an individual that would touch a child. Um, but what does happen is 
some of these individuals have seen this darkness in their homes and and this is where we need to recognize the system creates this cycle by doing it to one person and then they end up being so scarred and traumatized that their frequency lowers and they're literally taken over by these dark demonic entities and they become a tool for the dark demonic entities to do it over to the you know a group that was doing it to them so whether this person views <clears throat> you know australia or just western society or or nato or Whatever it is, um, or this person simply is part of a group maybe that took money to just infiltrate and wreak havoc because, you know, they're of that low enough frequency where they'll do uh, horrible things for just even like what we saw in, in Russia, if that is even accurate, how little those terrorists were, were paid to cause havoc and still did it. Mm-hmm. I know. And these, I, what I do think, though, I'm thinking that these people have gone through some, some of their own very personal hell, and they look to the outside world and the outside system, and anyone who is even participating in it just by simply going to a mall, just by enjoying life, and, you know, going out for a vacation, they feel in somehow, some way, these people are responsible for keeping the system afloat. And, and they're going to go after them because, you know, for various reasons, these people have been harmed in, in, when they were little. So we're kind of looking at conditioning again. I like people to to understand and see conditioning on the outside of themselves because it's happened to all of us. We have all been conditioned by the system and we have to find out, well, what can I do? to bring myself back to a center to bring myself back into alignment for my true purpose for for my mission maybe some people have a mission and some people do but really we have to look at our purpose and kind of undo all the layers of bs that they've taught us and and become who we are yeah absolutely that's the thing i want to get across is the cycle of trauma so i mean we don't know anything about this person, but it, it may turn out that, you know, maybe they were from uh, Afghanistan or Iraq or Syria or who knows where. And they watch their family traumatized. Now all they have in their mind is, is they want to do the same thing back. They're looking for vengeance. We have to break this cycle of vengeance. You, you don't stop a cycle of violence with more violence. Um, unless you're trying to do what's going on over in Gaza right now where there's absolutely none left. And this is also something that the system has done. They've, they've wiped out entire species. And we see it with you know humanity uh, knowing that there's so many different uh, species out there on the endangered species list. And I keep thinking... Hang on, when I see all these reports of something else that's uh, that's close to extinction, because once the system falls and the system is in the process of falling, it, its its foundation is starting to crumble. It's all being exposed for really what it is, and you know the the good part is more and more humans are waking up. the The bad part is many of them are still sleepwalking and don't want to wake up. They just want to stay in, in their la-la land and not recognize what the bigger problem is because they've bought into uh, the system in some way, shape, or form to such a high degree that they can't handle the real truth. They really, really can't handle uh, the truth. So here you have a bystander slowing down the knifeman on the escalators. Yes, definitely, definitely not not a good thing. <laughs> um, trying to do whatever he can to, you know, save multiple people. And I was just really creeped out because, oh my gosh, it, I mean, not that a gun, attack, a gun attack is any better, but a knife just seems so brutal and so horrible. And, you know, it's it's all brutal and horrible. It just, it bothered me that, that you know, what are they going to do? Come after knives now? You know, it's like come after butter knives. Are they going to say, well, you can have, you can have this garden tool and that garden tool. It's like, what are they going for? It's just a mess. I saw some reports saying that the man holding the um, 
it's it's like the bottom part of a, a, a table leg was actually from Russia, and I don't know if that's verified or not, but, um, you know, they're saying, okay, so here you have somebody that's like a Russian tourist, and they're holding off a, uh, perhaps a jihadist, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what they say, uh, I do think that they, they certainly don't want to play that card, because it's going to spoil their plans if people realize exactly what's been um, planned for all over the Western world. And if if a few of them are starting a little bit ahead of go time, because there are a lot of psychopaths uh, loose, a lot of career criminals loose right now in in our countries, and and we know this because we see them arrested and let go time and time again. How do you play this off when this guy, if he is from Russia, again it's unconfirmed actually saved some lives of some people in Australia by holding the guy off and slowing him up until a female officer arrived and, and who did shot, uh, shoot him and and terminate him. But she would she did also perform CPR after shooting him. This, this, this kind of gives you um, so many different levels to look at things because within any side, and I think it's just... It's so obvious to me when I see uh, paid political agents that are always trying to make hatred of one side from the other. So, you know, hate Russia or you hate Ukraine, depending on which side you're on of that. And and the same thing with Israel and the Islamic world. You know, the average people, unfortunately, most of them have been brainwashed into this horrible malaise where they're just zombies. They're just walking through this reality without understanding that it's completely manipulated, completely manipulated. And so, you know, in this whole article, and this is the lady uh, over the shooter, she's the one that stopped him, um, because again, not everybody is armed in, say, uh, Australia or UK, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, if this was somebody with you know, uh, an AR-15, an AK, something fully automatic, sure. I mean, we might be talking about 30, 40, 50 people at this point in time. Uh, it's, it's a crazy world. It is a crazy world. Now, this right here is saying an Islamic immigrant was killed by a police officer. There's more than one that's saying that this is the case. And then there's also more than one that are vehemently denying it. You know, when you just search migrants on, on X, this this gentleman here, this illegal migrant from Venezuela, tried to rob, rob a bank in Sandusky, Ohio. He couldn't figure out how to say, give me your money. So he, ta- he, ta- he typed it into a translator app. By the time he was done, the police arrived. Yeah, and, and they're going to detain him, and then they're going to probably let him go, too. Um yeah it, it's just crazy you know this is something i was looking into this is actually months old uh it goes back to 2023 uh talking about the fact that you know just come in with whatever paperwork you have and we'll get you a voting id you know you're supposed to be a resident but you know if you don't have it we'll we'll, we'll work something out yeah every state's different and this is part of the point you might be in your area for a purpose, um, but you might also be, say, straddling a border, and it might be a, a case where one state right across the border is doing things that maybe would make you feel more comfortable and safe. We each have to, you know, pick our poison and and root and ground where we can until we can't root and ground anymore. But be aware too that um, there's going to be more challenges in certain areas than others. You know, the amount of illegal immigrants from all over that have been uh, arrested and then unfortunately often just let go time and time again. This one's from Brazil, Middlesex County, 10 counts of something uh, beyond mentioning, 10 counts. This is not somebody that seems like they have any intention of changing their ways. You know, it just goes on and on and on. This is one guy getting interviewed, and he's saying, yeah, I know a lot of the people that came in. I I was coming in and and aware of them, 
and and there's some of the worst criminals that you can imagine coming in. This is what the this is what the UN has recruited is is the bottom line, and this is a closer up picture of the individual when you search into the energy. I mean, all I feel is darkness there. Mm, yeah, no, I mean, there's there's a lot of. Um, they're closing their eyes they're closing their eyes of these people through trauma so they can't see anything they can only see one thing and that's to do as they're told because it's going to bring them something so i mean they're they're behaving in a way that you just you know certain people get traumatized and they can only see one direction and that's the direction they go but they put their whole they put their whole heart mind and soul behind this one direction because they think that's their only way out yeah so you know we'll we'll keep an eye on on this particular story over here you see uh iran has hijacked a portuguese flag container ship um, it, that had connections to Israel, but it was it was sailing from the UAE to India when it was hijacked near Strait of Hormuz. Uh, the name is the MSC Ares. Um, that hit me as substantial because Ares again, war, Mars, yeah. Israeli media reports suggest that if Iran targets strategic facilities in Israel directly then jerusalem may send them back to the stone age by emping them to me this hit me as very very substantial because when what's done to cause chaos over here because i do uh, completely feel that we'll experience some of these downtimes uh and maybe not necessarily through an emp which is exploded in the air doesn't necessarily uh, take out people directly it's just the fact that all of a sudden all the electronics don't work your new vehicle won't work etc etc unless you have it in a faraday cage of some sort yeah you know there's there's been so many reports that talk about you could lose 90 percent of the population if the grid went down for just six months all that this is again just putting it fresh in our minds and because it's israel saying they'll do it to iran that when it happens to perhaps Israel, and I do think the U.S. and and some NATO uh, nations, then we understand, well, hey, you know, Israel was going to do it to us. We just beat them to the punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something we should keep an eye on for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Because, again, it's through the electronics that they uh, they control us. But at the same time, we know there are population forecasts, like this one over here from that D-E-A-G-E-L, place uh, <clears throat> that shows literally 550 ish i think 553 million people of nato countries that aren't here in in just you know a matter of another eight months nine months or whenever it is the only way that could come about at this point in time is is exactly um what ali saw alloys ermiler where it's a sudden strike that happens and at the beginning of WW3, and it literally is more population that's lost on that sudden strike um, than both world wars combined in just perhaps hours, hours. So again, you know, this is where we need to be very, very aware, and we are past that um, eclipse, and we have new information we're going to do on that Um, Patreon exclusive video about the eclipse as well as it was even more um, of a substantial time marker than we realized. U.S. deploys warships to Israel from uh, to protect Israel from directed Iranian attacks. So more warships are heading over. More warships also reports coming out there heading over to the Pacific. So, you know, again, move everything away from home there's already so much coast guard uh that's nowhere close to our coast this is all about you know (laughs) opening the door up so hey you know china will be right there don't worry let this sink in yes the orban government and this is hungary we're talking about has invited chinese police officers to patrol in hungary yeah they're let that really sink in. 
And and this is, you know, a member of Hungary's Momentum Movement, VP, etc., member of parliament over in Hungary. The Hungarian government's invited Chinese police officers to patrol in Hungary. Can you see the handoff of power? It, it could not be any more clear, but don't you remember all those hundreds of Chinese police stations in the U.S., in Canada? The power shift has already happened. Now they just have to play it out with a war to make it all feasible to everybody's minds. They, they need to come up with a lot of reasons to put certain laws into place. So that's kind of something that I watch <clears throat> whenever we're looking at the news or watching incidences happen, you know, and I see the, the red flags go on. Not that anyone doesn't get hurt with a red or a, a, a false flag. I mean, people do get hurt. Um, it's just really sad because the control grid, they're going to do what they need to do to get certain laws passed. And we've had so many laws get passed. And while people were just busy or traumatized, not looking, um, you know, what, I, what I've learned and I'm watching other states do is people are really getting involved at a very local level, at a personal level to those who, who can manage the laws in their little area, in their county, in their state. I think we should be involved to in, in the smaller part of politics so that we have an idea of are they going to allow these um, laws from the WHO and others are they going to take over if something really really big happens we definitely don't want that and we want to be in the know if that's the case or not the case well <clears throat> here is Russia and they're continuing to go underwater as uh, you know you see here there's risk of another dam uh, break there's been massive flooding in this area and uh, lots has been swept away, uh, people's lives, livestock, farms, if, homes. It's just continual. Again, it's humanity who is suffering. Uh, six rare sawfish deaths in seven days. This is mostly in the Florida Keys area that we're seeing this. Um, feels like technology to me. Yeah, I would definitely say technology too, for sure. And I do think, again, they're going to use technology, and I think that's what we saw with this thing. Yeah, I think they're going to use technology to create some mega disasters. And I've seen everything from people saying, oh, no, that was that was an iceberg breaking off. I think it's really notable what people... Um, said like you know mr mbb uh he says i come over and i love to just call this thing ventuski because you know i had a friend in home room his name was fentuski fentuski not ventuski but uh it brings me back to school days anyway um you know ventus sky mr mbb was saying i use this all the time it's very very reliable i've never known it to be unreliable and then i saw a couple people that um you know, just feeling into the energies uh, that are listened to a lot, uh, I don't really personally trust. And and they were sort of like, well, you know, kind of discrediting it. This has been very, very, I mean, everybody in, in, in like the weather industry and, and people that watch these things monitor our environment. Um, I've never heard anybody talk badly about, uh, you know, this at all. Ventusky, Ventusky, hey Ventusky, what do you think? Huh? I think it's, um, I think it is absolutely. Others have said too. Well, there's other, um, other monitoring um, places and technology that didn't show this at all. Uh, I don't really think this is necessarily eighty something foot waves. I, I think it's picking up some sort of energetic signature here um, that's showing technology that's being turned on and utilized. I don't know why this site does and why the other ones didn't pick it up, but that might be a giveaway. Maybe there's, you know, what are they using here that's different from other sites that are doing the same thing? And, and again, that's beyond me um, as I'm, you know, definitely no techie. No, but the the information that is p 
posed, the information that is there, it's not something, I don't think this is going to get unraveled anytime soon. I don't think we're going to know the absolute truth super soon. But I do know that with this information and things like this, you got to think out of the box because you're not going to find any answers within the matrix If someone is not willing to say, hey, is this a possibility? You're not going to find any answers ever. But I I know that they're out there. Well, and you did get information that this is technology of an Anunnaki uh, origin. Oh, it had fingerprints all over it, you know, but still people people can see that. And they're just not capable of extending their thoughts out outside this box. They just cannot do it do it they're not ready or maybe they're not supposed to they're in a position where you know they might have some sort of um something happen to them if they even mention that i don't know people are on in different situations but i do feel very much as a free agent and i (laughs) that's what i felt and i'm you know i'm under no tyranny or anything otherwise to to not speak it i mean i i come on here i speak my truth to to a very high degree and that's what i felt you know, I, I think in some ways <clears throat> people had the right idea when they thought, you know, this was God doing it to them. The only thing was it's not the God, the creator of this universe. No, it it's the gods of the dark matrix that are doing this. So when they would have floods, when they would have droughts, when they would have plagues and diseases... Yes, it was the gods of the dark matrix who ultimately are extraterrestrials that are doing this to their human farm planet. And really, there's so much evidence out there of ancient mining to the biggest degree. I mean, beyond anything that we can even do now, even with all this technology now, we still can't do the things that you know were done in the past. That's such a giveaway. I mean, it's just such an obvious giveaway. And and then people will say, well, I just don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, there's one pretty damn obvious answer. It's been in our faces the whole time. I think it's just that people can't handle that. They can't handle the fact that there could be beings that come here at any point in time with technology in which, you know, there's no way we could resist them in a technology for a technology match. Yeah, no, I I feel we are really, truly controlled at a level that people are not ready to look at just yet. But sometimes things pile up in in a person's life or something happens to them and there's no longer any denying it. And with that, you know, one one door, one heart, one mind at a time will awaken. But again, you'll see certain places uh, like Tennessee, you know, passing a bill to classify foods with certain material in them as drugs. In my mind, that's a great step because that is what they are. And this is not nature. So, I mean, that's great. It's 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 a great step. And we've seen. Uh, Louisiana say we won't recognize anything passed by who? or UN, or, you know, Weefers. No, none, none of that matters to us. We are going to ignore it. This is the beginnings of the disintegration. This is also why they, they plan on handing the keys to the kingdom over to Xi Jinping, because, you know, look at the Uyghurs. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, it is not going to last. The awakening is going on everywhere. So, you know, Uncle G will find himself uh, being ousted by his own people, as would Pootie Poot and all the rest. They're, the people are going to awaken. This is, you know, just inevitable. They want to salvage as many as they can. And they their last two cards, there's two cards for them to play. And, you know, we've, we've t- gone over those cards so many times and, and maybe we'll clarify in, in, a, in, in the next video um, as well. But there's just really, there's really only two cards left for them to play. And they're huge cards. Iowa governor signs bill that gives state authority to arrest and deport migrants. You know, this, this is what we're talking about here. Where you are, 
And you might be right across the border uh, from an area that's going to fight things tooth and nail. And the other uh, side of the coin is you might be in a spot where, you know, they're going to just hand the keys right over and say, oh, well, you know, <laughs> by the way, it's all going to be controlled by, by the Chinese police, the CCP, you know. So we have to adopt their everything, their system, you know, again, I feel that this is why so many people are leaving California in droves and, you know, for one reason in New York as well. Asteroid 2024 GX3 flew past Earth at 0.18 a lunar distance. So, you know, less than two tenths of a lunar distance. Uh, it was a small object. Again, we're talking about something maybe 20 feet across and GV2, another asteroid flew by at less than a third of a lunar distance because there was some conjecture that maybe what we saw was asteroid impacts. Um, they're coming. There are going to be impacts. And again, don't forget the comet, which is really a ship, is running. Uh, and that has technology on it. And, and this is why also people instinctively knew comets could bring all sorts of disasters and plagues and things into our orbit. It's because we have this memory. This is what happened in the past when we saw them. When we saw these things up in the heavens, bad things happened. Well, again, it's, it's because we've been under that control system. And it, we are at the end of a, a, a well, you know, it, it's a changing of the guard, let's so, so to speak. And the Earth is going to be taking back a lot more of its own authority as this system which has dominated for this dark age is going to be losing its grip. It's not that it's totally going to be gone. It's going to take years. At the same time, the big reveal, the difference between a Kali Yuga and a Bronze Age, in the Kali Yuga, almost everybody doesn't have a clue. Almost everybody has no clue like, you know, cattle on a free range uh, farm that don't know at some point in time they're going to be called. That's humanity in a Kali Yuga. They have no clue. They have no clue. In a Bronze Age, we have a clue. We get it. We understand what's happening. And also, uh, our abilities turn on and they, we are not controllable. Not as controllable, but that also means that you may see more direct conflict. And as we've said, we, we are going back to the past. We are going back to times of myths and legends. And, and what people will see over their heads and around them will probably absolutely blow some people's minds to the point where they won't be able to handle it. And other people will smile and say, I knew this all along. Indeed, I agree. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.